Good morning and welcome back, but not to another video of working on the GT86 because quite frankly I've had a couple of weeks now working on this and I'm getting bored of doing body work and getting covered in dust. Today I feel like getting covered in oil, grease and dirt. So I've changed things up and I'm going to be working on the Verossa today. Today is going to be a day of getting uh, the differential out of this and putting the diff in from a GT86. Now if you listen to the internet, that tells you that the diff in the GT86 will bolt directly into any JZX 100 or 110. So I'm going to put that theory to the test and see if we can actually uh, get this to fit properly. Also, I quite frankly had enough of this exhaust system this on here. It looks nice, but it's just it sounds awful when it comes on boost. So I'm going to change that today as well to just have a single exit coming out of there. It's going to be just straight again, so it uh, should be quite nice. And also, I need to sort of roll the rear arches just a little bit more because it's. Uh, yeah, having those 19 by 11s on the rear, it's it's tight and it catches. It very much does catch, but you can see how tight that is. Yeah, so I need to pull those arches a little bit more. But first things first, let's get this jacked up. Let's get some flooring on the deck there so I'm you know, not hurting my back and knees. Um, and get this differential out of it and see what we got. Okay, the diff appears to be the same as the GT86 with the mountain points are all in the same position. You have two bolts, if you get the light round. Two bolt fitting up there with the one bolt on the other side. So, theoretically, this diff should hopefully fit. Let's see how this comes out. Chips on. Chips on. Chips on. Chips on. Now that was a struggle, but we got it out. There it is. Next to the other one. Right. <sighs> Breather, have a drink. Strip this one back down. Build that one back up. Back in the car. And uh, yeah, going back in is going to be fun. So there we have one differential full of oil. Now, let's get this thing back on the jack. Try and get it back up in there. This thing has got bad news written all over it. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this, going to be honest.
there we have it. That is the uh, back end all back together. That's the diff in, drive shafts in, all the arms are back in. Everything is as it should be. So, next thing to do, get the wheels back on, drop it back down, get the car pushed back in. The exhaust isn't on yet. Uh, the exhaust won't be on today because it's late and I don't really want to be cutting and grinding it this time of night as it's nearly nine o'clock. Um, so, yeah, let's get this thing pushed back in and we'll start getting on this tomorrow. So I think that's gonna be enough for one day. It's currently uh, nine o'clock and six degrees in here. So I I've had enough for one day, I'm gonna head home. But Verossa is back on the ground. Oh, I do love the way this thing sits. It is now the next day and we're here again at Desire Motor Factory getting the Verossa finished up today. Um, gonna to make the exhaust first things first here. Uh, then I'm gonna pop it next door to the workshop next door to me who's got a ramp. I'm gonna get it on his ramp, get the gearbox out of this thing, get a new clutch in, and hopefully we should be able to go out and do some test runs in it and uh, get some nice Jay-Z noises on the go. So without further ado, let's carry on. Okay, so I have measured out the back box. Uh, we are now coming up to see what I have I can play with. Mm. Okay, so I think that one's gonna do it. Right, so my thought is to chop this little bad boy there, top him off by the flange, and then we'll weld straight onto there and have it come out with a little bit of a down sweep to it. Yeah, kind of like that. That'll work. Okay, it's a little bit loud in here. We're bellowing in the uh, workshop and it's on cold start, but here we have it. A down sweep. Right, let this thing warm up, let the GoPro get a bit of charge in it, and we'll uh, go and take it for a little bit of a blast.
Okay, we're going to call it a day here for this video. Thank you very much for checking in. We'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>